All right, folks, welcome back. 27th of November. It's a Saturday late afternoon. It's it's 4.30. I'm actually done with chores. I got some stuff to uh, keep up on here <coughs> for the next uh, hour and a half, two hours. <coughs> One of them being, uh, I'm just checking on the bull. He's doing real good. His water's fine. He's good. Uh, now that's 3,003. 3006 Remington still at the Revels. I'm scheduled to pick him back up December 15th. Of course, they're going to join together, fight like hell for a little while, and uh, they're going to be spending their winter here. Uh, 3003 is already spoken for for in the springtime. Um, what was I getting at? Yeah, I got about 20 minutes. I need to get going. I have to go pick up my dough with the processor. Now, I haven't gotten anything this hunting season. It wasn't for the lack of trying. I was, I was out there quite a few times. Um, but there was kind of a pre-range deal uh, with somebody on the farm here, and uh, a doe was taken. You know, my tag was putting on it, brought in. And uh, what do I usually do with deer processing? Well, quite naturally, I keep the back straps and the loins. I usually keep them whole so that I can, I'll do something with them. Otherwise, I love venison hamburger. But, um, and this isn't a secret, if you've never had venison hamburger with beef suet added instead of like a pork, you're missing out. It's, it's fantastic. I need to pick that up this evening because basically I need to take off tomorrow morning after chores for a couple days on a uh, on a secret mission. <laughs> okay, so today was basically a catch-up, keep-up, stockpile uh, preparation Saturday afternoon. Uh, one of the things I did yesterday is I ended up bringing back the no-till drill to the conservation uh, office. And I put the 6150M to bed for a while uh, until the snow gets really deep. Uh, it'll then be hooked up to the manure spreader. Uh, this is the old Polaris Ranger. I lost track of time. This is going to get all cleaned up in the early spring, given to my guy. There's some work that needs to be done to this, and this is going to go up for sale. Half of me wants to keep it as a, uh, a farm shit runner of any kind, but uh, there's really no sense in all that, being I've got the gator now. And... Okay, I don't think I showed you these. Uh, you're fine. They're being shipped out. They're being shipped to the shipper on Wednesday of this coming week. They're going to land at a... United Producers Incorporated sale in St. Louis, Michigan, feeder sale. This is a collection of ladder-born heifers uh, and animals that just didn't make my cut in the heifer department. Uh, quite a few of these are obvious reasons. Size, um, of course the other one is age. If you're not 13 months old by July 15th, unless you stand out you're uh, you're gone. I say that lately, but uh, this little girl here is my buddy. Has been ever since I put her in here. 11, 1166. But anyway, there's ten in here. They're heading to the sale. This is going to make somebody very happy. Uh, if I had the facilities, which I'm working on, can't have everything at once. Uh, if I did, I'd keep them all through the winter put on a great amount of conditioning and weight and they'd be sold at a, uh, a heavier weight in the spring. But I just cannot do that. I know there's a lot of people that want to argue about that. I ain't arguing about it. Settle down, boys and girls. All right, this is five more. Um, there is a couple of, uh, I hate the S word. Um, there's a couple of scrubs in there. Uh, if you're a cow-calf 
If you are a cow calf operator and you don't have scrubs, congratulations, you are perfect. <laughs> There's some scrubs in here and uh, a couple other ladder born heifers that I just can't keep. So that's 15 in total that are going to head down to uh, the UPI feeder sale in St. Louis, Michigan for Friday of next week. Everybody's doing real good. Health is good. Um, we've been in here for a few minutes now. You're not hearing any coughing. They're all on full on grain. And of course, good hay. And everybody's doing real, real good. Real good. I'm very anxious. Oh, by the way, Thanksgiving's over. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <coughs> we got this snow uh, just today. It started uh, mid-morning. We had a constant small drizzle of snow all day, and this is what we are left with. Still a few flakes coming down, but it's basically done. Uh, of course, you got the eight steers here. These eight steers are slated to leave December 11th. Um, four of them are spoken for in quarters and halves. And uh, I got to play in with the other four. What are you doing over there? Okay, I'm getting very excited to ship some of these animals out of here, especially these calves. Reason being, the grand number is 29. I have 29 heifers I'm keeping back. Don't worry, you're going to get a good look at them. Uh, they fit my criteria. They fit my bill. They fit the age. Uh, you know, for a lot of them, their background and everything else. So as soon as they're gone, I'm going to be home Tuesday. Wednesday, I'm shipping these. Thursday, I can guarantee to you, I'm going to start weaning off in vaccinations of kept back heifers. Got a little bit of a perfect world somewhat going here. Uh, they're going to be put in here. And the day after these eight steers get shipped, that first group of about 12 to 15 heifers, kept back heifers, are going to be transferred into this lot with the cows being in the cow yard. They won't be able to be in the lot because everybody gets all rambunctious and just that's when shit happens. <coughs> the day that those 12 to 15 heifers are transferred, the following day, the rest of them are going to be caught, vaccinated, start their wean off process and about seven, eight, nine, ten days later they're going to be in this lot as well and this lot will have 29 kept back heifers throughout the winter and a partridge in a pear tree my things change quickly don't they I tell you what if there's one thing I've learned as I'm you know growing up I'm not getting older I'm growing up slowly but surely got to have fun boy you better appreciate and really take things in as they're cooking because man things can change um what does that mean life's avenues i i don't know uh you know it was just uh, a day and a half ago i stopped uh drilling in uh seed and look at here. I guess I kind of timed that out correctly, didn't I? There, I actually did one good thing. What do you think about that? All right, a little stockpiling. There's about 20 round bales here. And of course, you know, the uh, reason I'm doing all this so it's just a little bit easier on Dad, if you're a new uh, follower of the channel, I do take off once in a great while. And uh, <clears throat> my dad comes here and manages the farm while I am gone. So a little ease of convenience on a few things. There's round bales here. We had a full-on, full-on Saturday here today. 
<coughs> full on barn cleaning, pen cleanings. Everybody got corn silage, uh, salt blocks, mineral blocks, you name it. It was a full on Saturday. Uh, the other thing that I did here for a little ease of convenience, stockpiled just, you know, some small squares of straw, uh, stockpiling of this uh, soybean round build straw, which is working out real, real good. It's extra work. Who gives a damn? Uh, basically, the way I figure it is for every round bale of straw, four by five round bale of straw, soybean straw, uh, that I put a little extra effort into and use, you know, I'm saving, uh, you know, 15, 16, 17 bales, uh, I doubt 20, of uh, good, uh, good oat straw. Well, I buy my small square bales of oat straw now. So comes down to it, it's uh, it's uh, it turns into be a big savings, little extra effort. This is a pen of four steers here. Um, that could use a little sprinkling of bedding right here, so they're not slipping while they're trying to eat. Um, plan is to keep these until uh, about a year from now. I kind of do things backwards. <laughs> so this farm needs a paycheck, okay? Stating the obvious, for God's sakes. Jesus, especially these days. I ship out what I say my good quality steers on a later fall feeder sale <sighs> for a long winter. I end up keeping back my mediocre, well I did it last year, I did it this year. I'm keeping back eight mediocre, and I'm being kind, steers that are scheduled to stay here, you know, for the next year for a slaughtering. Now that was a bull, uh, for obvious reasons. He's been castrated. These guys are doing real good. Except for one of them, I forget which one it is, because they're damn near twins. One of them likes to uh, try and give me a jab in the mornings. But, uh, they're just playing around. They learn real quick that's not tolerated. These guys are doing real good. For the most part. Um, yeah. This is one of the bulls that I'm keeping back for my own use. He's out of the sire sensation. And uh, this full-on black guy right here is uh, sired out of fortitude. He's staying on this farm as well. The rest with a proper, uh, oh, I'm losing you here, with proper passing fertility test, good size and condition will be available spring, latter part of spring, for purchase. That's it. Might lose you here. This battery's dying. Uh, there's enough stockpiled hay here on the, the north wall to last for uh, a few days or better with all the pens. And uh, that's about it, folks. I'm just kind of checking in, saying hello and goodbye for ah, a few days or so. Uh, heat tape's been plugged in now. Not all of it. Just some uh, what would be weaker spots. I need to spend a couple of evenings inside the barn to continue my winter prep. Um, and of course, this guy stays on on uh, you know stage one. <coughs> but uh, yeah, that is about it. Pretty nice, uh, pretty damn nice Thanksgiving uh, Thanksgiving weekend here. Uh, it's basically over tomorrow morning for me. That's okay. <coughs> Good Saturday today. Got a lot of things done. A lot of stupid little things that just linger behind. And, uh, yeah. I may or may not already have my reservation in at the uh, 
Oyster Bar of Chicago. <laughs> Whew, kind of looking forward to that. You got to make it fun. I, I don't know how else to put it. That's it. No other news. Seating's done. Drill is back. Put some things to bed. Uh, getting ready to ship calves. Getting ready to wean off heifers. Uh, getting ready to have the yards just at a standstill. No disruption for the winter. That time is coming. I should have brought you behind the barn, but I don't have time. Um, and I can't point out what I'm wanting to. Uh, I was up in the silo here this morning uh, for not so pleasant reasons. Just a small hiccup. But I can assure you that there's enough corn silage to get to January 15th. Uh, frigid weather dependent. Uh, so that's a huge positive plus. That was the goal. And uh, that will be met. I am definitely going to lose you now. <coughs> um, so... Yeah, yeah, it's a nice sight. I tell you what, I'm I'm ready for winter. I don't know how else to put it, right, Kitty? Hey, yeah, I know. <laughs> My little house cat, he's got a problem. He's had a problem for two months uh, with his back leg. There, he uh, he got himself into some pretty big trouble. Climbed out of it, but he's not all correct, but he's doing good. Yeah, he he gets thrown outside um, three, four times a day. And uh, <laughs> he's a little shithead too. Ah, he's actually pretty good. He wasn't there for a while, but uh, we learned, right? Yep, yep. That's it. I got to get my butt in gear. And uh, that's it. Hope everybody's doing okay. Another big happy Thanksgiving weekend, everybody. Hope everybody's doing okay. I hope it was good for you. And um, 